In this Blender tutorial, I'm going to show you another way to set up lighting. In the previous video, we added these two lights. So I have this green light right here, and I have this purple light right here, and I can move them around. I can even press Shift D and make a third light and set up a three point lighting system. So I can move this one lower and have this come back. And then I could select this light here and make it a lot less powerful and have that be the light in the background. Maybe I'd even change its color to be a little bit more light and really change the power to something like 300 watts. So it's way in the background, just filling in as a key light. These are also all point lights, so they're illuminating in all direction. In photography, there's something called a three point lighting setup, and we can do it just like this by selecting lights and moving them around. But there's another way to do it as well. I'm going to delete my lights by pressing X, delete, selecting this one, X, delete, and then this one, X, delete. Notice it's hard to see, so I'm gonna click this little circle right here, and that'll make everything visible again. I'm going to go to Edit, Preferences, and then under Add-ons, it'll start up here at Interface, but then select Add-ons. In the search bar, I'm gonna type TRI. And then I'm going to select Lighting, Try Lighting. This is an add-on in Blender that adds an option to when you create lights. So I'm gonna close this window. Then I'm gonna select the cube. The way the three-point lighting or the try lighting add-on in Blender works is by pointing three lights at the object you have selected. So I'm going to press Shift A, and notice under the light menu, we have three point lights. If I click this option, I now have three lights going straight at this object. And if you look at the options, they are area lights. So I could change those to different size. And here I have the base and energy, and I can also change the height. So if I want these to be higher, and I want the setup to be farther back, notice that it's gonna automatically do that. And it sets up this setting so everything is the way I want it to be. So this is really convenient because you can set up key lights very quickly. Then I can change this base energy so I can make this be 1000. So now they're 1000 watts. And then let's take a look and see what that's looking like. So now I can see that this light setup is pretty dramatic. I guess I'll bring the distance in just a little bit so it's not hitting that background so much. And then I can click this background, actually, and then I can just scale it up a bit. So I'll scale up that background. Now let's go ahead and look through the active camera. I'm going to go view, cameras, active camera. And here I have a pretty nice scene with just a click of a button. So the Blender Try Lighting add-on is a really quick way to add lights to a scene. Now before I had those really cool colors on the lights, you can do that as well. I can also add colors to the actual objects. So right now these are just the default colors on the objects, but if I click this object right here, I can click its properties right here, and then on the base color of the material, this is the standard material, I could change its color. So I could change it to be yellow, and then this actual object will be yellow, and of course, I can make it more metallic or less metallic and make it shiny and change different things about it. We'll talk about the different options that we can do with colors and materials in future videos. So this way, you can set up a try lighting scene very quickly, and it's pretty easy to do in Blender with the try lighting add-on. So here we have our light set up, and let's just add a little bit of color to this so it's a little bit more interesting. So we have this one be red, we'll change this one, we'll make it be somewhat blue, and then in this back one, we'll go ahead and add some green so we can really see that try lighting setup right there. So hopefully you can use this to make try lights in your setup and quickly make renders of objects that you have in Blender. Happy 3D modeling.